This playing position is called standing or upright. You will usually play frame drums that have either a shallow frame or, like in this case, a thumb hole. Since you hold the instrument in your hands, you can choose if you prefer to sit or to stand while playing. To get into the right playing position, open your left hand with thumb and fingertips pointing upwards, and then place the instrument inside. Put the straight fingers on the skin, reaching towards the center of the drum mat, and then turn your wrist until the ring finger reaches the edge. In the inside of the frame, the thumb does not grab, but it stays relaxed. Now place your right hand thumb about 90 degrees from your left hand on the side of the frame. While you play, watch that it does not slide up the shell. For the right hand strokes, use your thumb as a pivot, keeping it on the frame. When you execute a stroke, use your wrist to make a turning motion. In the beginning, exaggerate this movement. Take as much space as possible. We start with the bass stroke on the frame drum. It is called doom and played with the straight ring finger. When you hit the skin, keep the finger straight but relaxed and let it bounce off immediately. If you keep it on the skin, the sound will be dampened. The second stroke is called tuck. It is played with the upper part of your ring finger at the edge of the skin. Besides that, the movement is similar. Again, keep your finger straight and use a turning motion of your wrist. Tuck is also played with the left ring finger. While the ring finger is the only one that touches the skin, the movement is done with all four fingers. None of the fingers should be stiff. Keep them as relaxed as possible. For the first rhythm, you need the right hand combination doom tuck.
If you play a tuck in every other space, you get a Persian 6-8 rhythm. To add some variety, you can replace the first two tucks with four tucks in double time. These four tucks will be played right, left, right, left. <laughs> 